You may have always heard that a healthy recipe should contain adequate dietary fiber to help your regular bowel movements. What is dietary fiber? Actually, dietary fiber refers to a group of things which are from the plant foods. Unlike other foods such as carbohydrates and fat which will be broken down and absorbed, dietary fiber cannot be digested or absorbed by the human body. That means they will pass relatively intact through the digestive system such as the stomach, small intestine, and colon. This process will bring us lots of benefits such as stimulating bowel movement, lower cholesterol and glucose level, and help you feel fuller than other foods. Generally speaking, dietary fiber has two categories, namely, soluble fiber and insoluble fiber. Soluble fiber can dissolve in water and then form a gel-like material in the digestive system, and they will easily be attached to cholesterol particles and then get them out of the body. This process can help reduce cholesterol levels and thus lower the risk of heart diseases. Also, due to the fact that the human body cannot break down fiber, so, they will not get well absorbed which is good to control the glucose levels for type 2 diabetes. It will make us feel full longer and the poor absorption of dietary fiber can effectively help maintain a healthy weight. The common source of soluble dietary fiber is from oats, peas, beans, apples, citrus fruits, carrots, barley, and psyllium. Insoluble fiber cannot dissolve in water. Once water is absorbed into the fiber, it will form soft contents in human bowels and thus stimulate regular bowel movements. It can help relieve the symptoms of constipation and irregular stools. Same as the soluble fiber, insoluble fiber can also help you feel full for a longer time and thus lower your appetite to consume more foods. The main source of insoluble fiber includes whole grain food, nuts, seeds and the skin of fruit and vegetables. Apart from the two categories of fiber, resistant starch is also considered to have the same functionality. Different from the fiber which cannot be digested and absorbed at all, resistant starch will pass through the small intestine and be processed in the large intestine, where it will ferment and generate good bacteria to support bowel health. In summary, we should take adequate dietary fiber daily to keep our body healthy. The recommended amount for fiber is 30 grams for men and 25 grams for women. Both soluble and insoluble fiber should be included in your recipe to get the maximum benefit. Some good choices of food which are high in fiber include whole grain products, nuts, fresh fruits, and vegetables. Those processed foods such as canned vegetables and pulp-free juices contain a low amount of fiber compared with the fresh fruits. This is because lots of fiber contents, such as the coat and fruit pulp, are removed during the food refining process. So, if possible, you should always try fresh food instead of those processed foods. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button or subscribe button for more interesting topics.